Our dates are so big, they're oblong shape, they have lots and lots of... Over the past like week or two, I've noticed this video trend that a lot of people are making for TikTok or Instagram or other platforms. And it's a fun little thing and I've noticed people doing it many different ways. So I was talking to Taylor and Nate this morning, um, WDW Couple and Paging Mr. Morrow, and we came up with a group of friends and a fun little idea. So I'm gonna film that now and then <laughs> You'll see it, um, I'll post it to TikTok and Instagram, super enthused. And I think everybody else is gonna post it to theirs too. And we'll all post each other's links. Let's see how it comes out. During this whole self-isolation thing, I've been doing a few different things for friends, like filming little clips, being on podcasts, stuff like that. And as that rolls out, I post it to Twitter or, yeah, basically Twitter, because that's where I can post links. But uh, let me get to work on this and I'll be right back with ya. Right, uh, this is my first TikTok video, really, so we'll see how it does. I had props, if you want a clue what it's about. Now on with the rest of our day. Ooh, the sun is out extra nice today. So I'm gonna sit on the balcony for a while. I'm in a good mood today. I think doing that project really pepped me up. Doing stuff with friends like collabs and projects and podcasts and like sending each other clips to do projects has been a really great side effect or benefit of us all being isolated. Normally we meet up and hang out, but since we're all isolated, we're trying to find new and creative ways to hang out and work together, and it's, I like it. Oh, there's like a lot of birds out today. I still have my Mickey ears on because just in case I have to redo any of my clips, I don't wanna mess up my hair yet. It feels really nice to just sit out in the sun. It's a gorgeous day today, wow. I think once I know that my clips are okay and I know I don't have to refilm them, I'll take the ears off and I'll go for a little walk downstairs because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Look at that blue sky. It's like nice and mild. Feels like upper 70s, low 80s. Really nice. Made myself a little salad for lunch. Carrots, peppers, tomatoes, spinach, radishes. Love radishes, you know, just some stuff. Oh, mushrooms, mm, gotta love mushrooms. Just get some veggies. Get some veggies in the system. Stick in. When I'm home all day like this, which isn't something that I'm used to, even after 34 days, I like to make sure I get up from just sitting all day and move around as much as I can. I like do squats, I do stretches, I just like do lunges and just try to like, not sit all day. I used to do yoga from home sometimes, from YouTube videos, and I should have, imagine if I had been doing 34 days of yoga. I need to start. Tomorrow I start yoga. But for now, I just jump around. Oh, I try to do it quietly so it's not too loud for me. But for now, I just kind of jump around and like, you know, just try to, try to move so I'm not just sitting all day long. I go for walks some days, but I didn't today. I should have, but I didn't. But tomorrow, we start yoga. <laughs> Here's just a little snippet of my mostly theme park t-shirt collection, starting with Disney over here until about here. And then universal shirts go till about here. And then this is like various other theme parks, NASA, music, mashup type of shirts. See, that's like a Dungeons and Dragons and Zelda mashup. Got a Buffy shirt in there. Just like a nice variety of things. This is the one I got at the Dade County Youth Fair last year. Another Buffy shirt. I have a few Buffy shirts. <laughs> That's just my t-shirts. And the reason I'm showing you this is because for today's fun little project we're doing, I had to pick a Disney shirt and I chose my Haunted Mansion shirt out of the many, many Disney shirts I have. 
I know that minimalism means something different to everyone and everyone has their own way of expressing it. But to me, it means keeping things to a minimum, not having an overabundance of material possessions that you don't need and don't use, keeping clutter to a minimum, basically keeping things as simple as is comfortable for you, or in my case, for me. Basically just what you need and really, really love. Like if you live somewhere that snows, obviously you need snow stuff. If you have a hobby that requires gadgets and gizmos aplenty, that makes sense. But basically just having what I need and what makes me happy and no more. Since I talked about being a minimalist, I'll show you some of my shelves. And this is probably a lot more than most minimalists have, but I've got a picture of me and Sam from Epcot, the salt rock lamp, Alexa, <laughs> A Trader Sam's tiki mug on this Sorry, oh. I don't know that. Sorry, Alexa. <laughs> on this shelf, we've got some books, another Trader Sam's tiki mug, and this cool thing that I've had for so many years. I don't know how long I've had it, but I've had it very long. But it always reminds me that like magic and fantasy and whimsy are out there and a beautiful part of life. And then just a few of my favorite books mixed in with a few of Sam's books. He was going to take the Witcher books with him on his trip to England, but his <laughs> luggage was a little overweight, so he left them here. I'm sure we'll both read them. I talked about Grimm's fairy tales recently. And then on the top shelf up here, we have Madame Leota's Crystal Ball, and I got that from Memento Mori's The Gift Shop connected to the Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom. I have this really cool Epcot zipper that looks like Spaceship Earth that I got at Epcot. And then we have this Halloween Horror Nights cassette that actually held some merchandise. Since we're looking at shelves, <laughs> up on this shelf we've got a uh, Galaxy's Edge Coke bottle from Batu. We have candle holders that I got from Mickey's Mystery Box, and we have the cheese board, the pass holder cheese board that you get from Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. We've got this photo of me and Sam that we got on Leap Day at Universal Orlando. They were doing free printed 8x10 photos for pass holders, which is awesome. And then we have our little Legos that Andy got us for Christmas. The rest of the shelf is empty because I'm doing stuff with the rest of the stuff on the shelf for another video. Alexa, turn on kitchen. Alexa, set kitchen to purple. It's Sunday night. We've had a weekend or a non-weekend and I've been drinking tea, water, LaCroix, etc. I think it's time for a beer. Florida Cracker is my favorite beer right now. It's from Cigar City Brewing. They're based in Tampa. I want to go take a tour of the brewery. That's one of the things that's been on the list for a long time, and we definitely will go take a tour of that brewery, brewery, as soon as it's safe to do so again, because another beer that comes from their brewery is Highlight, which is one of Sam's favorite beers. So we both love Cigar City Brewing. And now I think it's time to have a beer. This is a wheat beer. It's very, very light, very low alcohol, but very tasty. And just to be classy, we're gonna have it in a wine glass. right here and replace the tea and maybe watch some travel vlogs. One of my favorite things to watch on YouTube is travel vlogs. Like travel vlogs of people sailing around the world or RVing around a country, that kind of travel vlogs. I love those. Cheers. with Taylor and Nate and a group of friends that I talked about earlier in the video. We've 
been working on this almost all day. Not the whole day straight, but like on and off as people are sending clips and we're editing them and working on them. I'm editing it together. Taylor is also helping with the music part. I think this is gonna be really, really fun. And I can't wait for you guys to see it once it's done. Okay, now that it's done and it's posted everywhere, it's up on my TikTok, Super Enthused. It's up on my Instagram, also Super Enthused. It's up on everyone else's pages, and I'll tell you who is in it in order of appearance. Super Enthused, that's me. The WDW couple, Taylor. Resort TV one, Jenna. Paging Mr. Morrow, Nate. One Man's Dream, Veronica. Promise, Hope. Practically Perfect, Park Hopping, Josh. Vincent Vision, and Brandy and Dave. And the only reason I'm reading this is so that I get it in order that they appear in the video. Obviously, I know all of these people. They're all friends and wonderful people. I don't know if I can post this in my YouTube video today, but if I can, I'll try to write here. I couldn't get it in my YouTube video, but I'll post the link in the description below so that you can go ahead and watch it on TikTok or Twitter or whatever you have. If something did happen, then yay! But also, if you do have TikTok, follow me there. If you have Twitter, if you have Instagram, follow me there because I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff that's going on. I'm still working on that one beer that I poured like two hours ago. Special thanks to Taylor from the WDW couple and Nate because the three of us were in a group chat all day putting this together. And everybody else in here was in another group chat and I love you guys, you're all great. <sighs> Hopefully we can do more collabs all together in person when things open up again. But in the meantime, maybe we can think of more creative virtual collabs. Hmm. And with that, that concludes today's day vlog. Day into night vlog because it's nighttime now. Didn't leave the house today at all. Still very weird, even though it's been what 33, 34 days now? March 16, 2020 was 34 days ago. 34 days. March 15th is the last like time I went out proper. And even before that, I was home for a few days before that. So Now, me and Oogie Boogie have things to do. We're very busy, right? Very busy. So thank you guys so much for joining me for these day vlogs that we're doing while we're at home. It's now April 2020. When things open up, we'll be back out in the world doing travel and theme park and attraction videos. But until then, I'll be bringing you into my world and making videos to invite you into my daily life and hopefully bring you a smile and some entertainment. Thank you guys so much for all your wonderful comments and feedback. I love you all. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Stay oogie, stay boogie, and stay enthused. Bye.